Inside, the 2024 Toyota Alphard and Velfire look practically similar with minor differences in color and trimmings. Luxurious materials are the order of the day, along with a standard 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster and a large 14-inch touch screen infotainment system. Toyota is particularly proud to highlight that these two luxury MPVs have a so-called super-long overhead console. By relocating all of the aircon vents, the ambient LED lighting, personal reading lights, and most of the controls for the sunshades and the sunroof to the middle of the roof, Toyota has created an intuitive space that brings easy access to controls as well as creating a two-piece sunroof for each of the two captain's chairs at the second row. The sunshades in particular are interesting, as these now were down from the top of the windows instead of manually raising them. Another highlight of the 2024 Toyota Alfred and Velfire's interior is its universal steps, which are basically powered side steps that automatically deploy when the sliding doors are opened, providing easy access for children and the elderly. Riding on the TNGAK platform, the new Alfred and Velfire come with McPherson strut front suspension and independent double wishbone rear suspension at the rear. Straight rockers and a V-shaped brace at the rear end of the structure improve the Alfred's rigidity by 50%, while the Velfire gets an additional front performance brace and unique suspension tuning, which is in line with this model's sportier orientation. These two vehicles won't just handle better, they'll also be more refined than ever. Toyota spent a lot of effort in making the cabin as quiet as being in the middle of a forest, while added special adhesives have resulted in a 30% reduction in vibrations. Unfortunately, if you want the smoothness of the V6, then you're out of luck. That has been replaced by a 2.4-liter turbocharged four-cylinder that produces 275 horsepower, which is sent to the front wheels via an 8-speed automatic. An entry-level 180-horsepower 2.5-liter non-turbo gasoline engine is available in Japan on lower-end versions of the Alford, but that's probably an engine you want to avoid for such a large luxury MPV. Of course, electrification has always been part of Toyota's plan, which is why this will come with a 2.5-liter hybrid drivetrain that produces a system output of 247 horsepower. A plug-in hybrid version is on the cards, too. The 2024 Toyota Alphard and Velfire are already on sale in Japan, in which the Enabe plant in Japan will have a production output of 8,500 units per month. If you're curious, the Alphard will account for 70% of production while the remaining 30% will be for the Velfire. Here's to hoping that it arrives in the Philippines being sold at retail price, considering how insatiably popular the Alphard is. Both minivans are equally luxurious inside. The top-of-the-line executive lounge grade of both minivans can comfortably seat six or a maximum of seven people. The best place to sit in the vehicle is in the second row, which has ultra-luxurious business jet-like captain seats. Other ultra-luxury interior appointments include pull-down sunshades on all rear windows, a super-long overhead console that provides ambient lighting and some controls, footrests for second-row passengers, and a disappearing sidestep that increases accessibility. The new generation Alfred and Velfire also feature increased legroom while retaining the same exterior dimensions of the already spacious minivan. All these aim to give the 2024 Alfred and Velfire a cozy interior atmosphere, but not quite as homey as the LG Forever Home minivan concept. The 2024 Toyota Alfred and Velfire have modern high-tech safety and comfort features. Beyond the luxurious interior appointments, Toyota designed both the Alfred and the Velfire to provide a comfortable and smooth ride for second- and third-row passengers. The Japanese automaker claims it was able to reduce vibrations experienced in the back by around 30% compared to previous model years. Toyota did this by equipping the car with a TNGA-specific McPherson strut front suspension with a double wishbone rear suspension and shock absorbers that adjust damping force based on the road surface. It also reduced vibrations by equipping rear seats with rubber bushings and memory foam that partially absorb vibrations from the road. The Japanese automaker also equipped both minivans with low-noise tires and additional sound-absorbing material to minimize sound generated by wind and road.